All right, hello fifth grade. Today is day 32 of our video lessons. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all doing safe and healthy. Um, please be sure that you are caught up with all of your assignments, okay? Um, grades are going to be due on, or I've already submitted most of my grades, so please be sure that you have completed um, all of your stuff, okay? Um, if you have any questions on what you need to submit, just uh, message me or look at Monday's video, okay? Um, but I think that's all the announcements that I have. Meeting at 1 o'clock today if you can make it. Um, if not, that's okay. But just please be sure that you're completing all of your assignments, alright? So that is your warm-up. Go ahead and get started. Pause the video. Alright. So, remember when we had these types of problems? these types of problems, one half of 10, that means that you have one half times 10, right? It's like you have 10 pieces of candy and your friend grabbed half of it. What's half of 10? Half of 10, well, I multiply one half times 10. One times 10, that's over two. 10 over two is five, and that makes sense, right? Because half of 10, is five so there you go we have it we got it next one same thing what's three-fifths of eight if you have eight pieces and your friend grabbed three-fifths of it how much is that well three times eight times five three times eight that's 24 over five okay and then you could switch it up as a mixed number five goes into, tw into 24 four times my answer is four holes and four fifths. Now I am going a little bit quickly on this because hopefully this is not review, right? Hopefully it's not anything new, but um, let's keep going. Half of four, one times four over two. So then that is four over two, four over two. That's just two divided by four and that is two, okay? Now, everybody, if you're having trouble with these types of problems, I recommend that you go to our um, previous lessons from two weeks ago, okay? Now this one, three times 12 over four. Three times 12 is 36. 36 divided by four, and I already know that, that is a nine. Okay, so these are our answers. All right, now. The reason that I brought these back up is because today, today we're going to be working on lesson 13. And lesson 13, it's pretty much the same thing, except, except we're going to be now working with the two fractions, okay? And today, just very quickly, I wanted to show you all... Um, the stand, this is called a standard algorithm, right? Standard algorithm. Now, there is another method where we can draw it, but I think I'm going to save that until tomorrow, okay? Um, because you will have quite a bit of uh, science work to do today. But um, anyways, the standard algorithm work it's pretty simple and pretty straightforward. For example, all it, all it is, I'm gonna do, let's say, one over two times one over 10. And then we have another one, uh, let's say three over four times one over eight. And then we have another one, uh, one over five times one over eight again, okay? So we'll do those two problems. Now, are your denominators the same here? No, they are not, but that is okay. That is completely fine. When you're multiplying fractions, everybody, listen, everybody pay attention right now, okay? Make sure you have, you put the volume up and you put um, your earphones on if you have them, but pay attention to this point, ready? Very important. When you're, when you're dealing with fractions and you're multiplying them, you can just multiply them straight across. This is what I mean. One times one 
2 times 10. You do not have to make them the same denominator. You only make them the same denominator when you have to add or subtract them. Got it? Capiche? All right, Kapash, good. So one times one is one, two times two is 20, and that is our answer. Simple, right? So again, all we did is we multiplied across. One times one, one, two times 10, 20. And that's your answer, that's it. Let's go ahead and do another one. Three times one, four times eight. Again, I am just multiplying straight across. Three times one, three. 4 times 8, 32. And that's our answer. Simple, right? Again, you're just multiplying straight across. 1 times 1, 5 times 8. 1 times 1 is 1. 5 times 8 is 40. So that is your answer. Okay? Now, let's go ahead and take a look at this over here. We are on page 210, okay? So we have, I'm gonna put the, all right, there we go. Let's see, how can I do this? All right, here we go. So again, lesson 13, everybody. Half of a cake? Well, that's saying, much like our warm up half, that is one half of one half. Right? So what does that mean? It means I'm gonna have to multiply one half times one half. Again, of means multiply, much like our much like a warm-up. So now I have one times one, two times two, one times one, one, two times two, four, and that is our answer. Alright? What about this one? Go ahead and try it. I will tell you though, I'm not gonna do it for you the work, but your answer for this one is one over six. All right, but again, try it out. It's, it should be easy. Same thing as this one, except you have a different fraction. You have one third. So that's what you're gonna do um, for today. You're gonna be doing page 210, and then the back part, page 211. That's just uh, word problems, okay? But again, use your UDCL model, and hopefully you'll be able to solve it. But that's it for your warm-up, not for your science. I mean, that's it for your math. For your science, you're going to be doing, reading the first three. So one, two, three, you're going to read these three parts on your new one called Week 19 Life Science, The Amazing Brain. I like this one a lot. Probably my favorite one of this life science unit. We're going to be talking about the brain, which I think is pretty cool. But um, you'll go ahead and read the first three. And then that is it. All right. Be sure you're completing your Google assignments. All right. Be sure you're completing these, your Google assignments. This is for fourth grade. Complete the ones for you, okay? But that's it, everybody. Have a great day.